Good evening. A number of families and business owners have spent the day cleaning up in Barnstable after the town was hit by sudden flash flooding. Its arrival late yesterday afternoon caught many by surprise, with homes and shops overwhelmed with water. A number of roads were also left resembling rivers. Our reporter Sam Blackledge has spent the day in Barnstable watching the clean up there. Uh, Sam, this pretty much for many came out of the blue. Yes, it really did, John T. As you say, a huge amount of rain fell in this part of North Devon yesterday, and it seems like most of it was localised over Barnstable. It's hard to believe, but all of this square was underwater just 24 hours ago. The town really struggled to cope. All the drains filled up very quickly, and people were simply overwhelmed. As for the impact on the people who live and work here in Barnstable, many of them have told me it was like nothing they'd ever seen before. It all happened in the blink of an eye. Less than an hour of rain caused utter devastation right across Barnstable. Streets turned into rivers. And before anyone even had time to think, the water was forcing its way into their homes. Jo and her family escaped as the flood tore through their sitting room. They spent last night in a hotel. In a matter of about 15 minutes, the house was flooded. It was just such a distress. Uh, I'm still in shock. I barely slept this night. Um, I had my two-year-old with me, so you can imagine it, it was a shock, really, yeah. For us to come back as a family, it's going to be tricky because um, at this point we don't even have electricity in the house. So I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take. Danny is a childminder who works at home. He was here looking after five youngsters when the sheer power of the water ripped his front door off its hinges. It's just incredible scenes, really. Um, the amount of water that flushed through the house, I've never seen anything like it. Within sort of two minutes, the water was sort of seeping through the doors and then it was just getting higher and higher. So I thought to get the kids out and then open the doors just to let the water flush through um, was the safest option, really. Businesses are also counting the cost and beginning what will be a lengthy clean-up operation. You know, I've been here over 20 years now and never have had to think on my feet that quick. Within sort of 15, 20 minutes, you know, we were, we were becoming underwater. Um, so, you know, trying to get as much stuff off of the floor as possible. Um, you know, we have lost some stock, but luckily not, not masses. It was a really heavy, prolonged burst of rain that quickly flooded the roads and surrounding properties, which I think took most people by surprise. It hadn't been really forecasted. People stuck in flood water in their cars, as well as um, some properties and basements in particular coming up to three foot in depth that needed rescuing from their properties. In my time in, in the service, I've never seen flooding happen that quickly and that amount of rainwater come down in, in that space of time to have that effect. It was, it was really you know, quite shocking to see. Well, everybody in Barnstable has a story to tell about how they were affected by yesterday's floods. Yesterday, uh, earlier today, I spoke to a resident named Aisha. Now, Aisha and her partner had just completed a major renovation on their dream home. Unfortunately, what happened yesterday destroyed all of their hard work. It was all happened really fast, really. I think it must have been about half two, three o'clock, and it started to rain. Um, not too bad at first. Um, obviously then there was just a massive downpour and a massive rush of water. It was like a waterfall in the back garden. Um, and I sort of, I was starting to video it, thinking this is not, you know, this isn't right. It's get, getting worse. And it just started to creep up the patio doors further and further. And I was just dashing to try and put towels down. Um, Realised that was just a ridiculous thing to do. It wasn't going to do anything. And they just started to creep under the door, um, out the back. Um, and then through the utility room, through the back door, then it was in through the kitchen door, and then it was just right through the house and coming through the front door. Um, really deep, really quite frightening. I didn't sleep at all last night, worrying really. Um, you know, how are we going to cope? I know, you know, it's happened to a lot of people. Um, we're not, you know, it's not horrendously bad, but um, for, for us, um, you know, especially just finishing finishing the house and all the effort we put in over lockdown, it's heartbreaking, really. We've been in sort of lockdown for four months. My husband only went back to work a couple of weeks ago. Um, we just thought, you know, everything's, everything's finished and lovely, just how I've always wanted it, and then this just happens. It's just, you yeah, know, can't really take it in at the minute. 
So everybody here in Barnstable just trying to come to terms with what happened here yesterday and to begin the clean-up operation, which is well underway, both for individuals who are having to deal with the effect on their own homes and businesses, but also the community seems to be coming together to help the town get through this. Earlier this afternoon, there was an impromptu clean-up event for anybody who wanted to grab a broom and muck in. It was a real sign that the community spirit here is strong and that Barnstable will bounce back from what's been a truly shocking event. Sam Blackledge live in Barnstable for us this evening. Thank you very much.